Uh, going back to some GameStop news. Um, if GameStop, if you want to sponsor me, go for it. That, that's oh, I think that's just the recurring theme. <laughs> um, this is actually a really big, surprising bit of news. It's that um, GameStop will be getting residuals on Xbox consoles that they sell. Uh, so they'll be getting residuals from digital copies sold. Isn't that because Microsoft bought GameStop? No. no so, 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 so what came out GameStop. here... Oh. In, a, in a press release that GameStop issued uh, last week, they announced a, quote, multi-year strategic partnership with Microsoft that includes using Microsoft's infrastructure technology for back-end processes, as well as hardware, including Surface tablets. So there's a lot of back-end stuff. They have some deals going on there. That's a pretty big cash flow for Microsoft. And uh, Eric Cerny, I have no idea if he's related to uh, our boy Mark Cerny. Um, a GameStop investor relations representative also stated that they will, re- quote, receive a portion of the downstream revenue from any device we... What the fuck? I, I copy-pasted that. That art, that sentence is not formatted <laughs> correctly. <laughs> but it's basically what you said earlier. They're receiving a portion of the revenue from digital sales on Xbox consoles, which, right. you know, at, at face value, it doesn't make sense because, like, everyone, everyone was... was um, was saying like oh with the rise of digital media brick and mortar stores like gamestop they're they're not going to be making money they're going to go away and become obsolete so i think microsoft like e- even with this other deal going on with with back-end software and hardware it, they're like s- really throwing a bone out to gamestop here that, that that just completely surprises me yeah i mean like i said earlier i i before this happened i think it, that gamestop was um as a as a company they were doing a lot of very shady things and and that um just really signals uh the 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 visual of a of a company that's circling the drain so to speak Mm -hmm. um and uh the fact that xbox is partnering up with them just kind of shows that uh they're in desperate need of of survival funds at this point um and they're tr- they're they're just trying to make it past uh, the new the next gen console releases. So hopefully that'll give them like another booster. But uh, I'm I'm not too confident that they'll that they'll be around in the next like two maybe even three years. I, I know we'll never see like the actual hard numbers for this, but I am so fucking curious to see how much that that deal outweighs the digital revenue. Uh, Sharing, sharing that revenue with GameStop works. I'd like to see too. I want to. I want to see the numbers because they. I don't know. I just. I feel like they're gonna lose a lot. They're gonna lose a lot more than they think. Mm-hmm. And uh, j- one other thing actually got me curious is that will this move incentivize GameStop to actively push Xbox sales over PlayStation? Like if some kid comes and saying, "I want to play Uncharted," will the GameStop? Uh, Store advice be like, nah, get an Xbox, kid. Will they? Will they do? I mean, whether, knowing, whether... knowing the pushing culture that that GameStop uh, enforces on its workers, um... which uh, just a heads up, I never did. Oh, good, <laughs> I never yeah. It. And yeah. I still was like the highest seller, and everyone's like, "What are What are you doing?" And I'm like, "I'm not doing what they're telling us to do." <laughs> it's like their policies are ass backwards. Fuckers. I'm a genuine human being and I treat people like a genuine human being. <laughs> the, Go figure. The only time I would put on that GameStop face is, is when like higher upper management was there. Right. Put on yeah. your best yeah. face when they I come in. I did whatever the fuck I wanted to sell things. Like of course within like not like giving shit away for free but like just, well, being, just being myself. And, like, and also, also my problem with that is it, my problem with the whole like you know the whole GameStop face thing or whatever. It's like uh, they assume that if you're not making sales, it's clearly your your fault. It's it is it is your fault. You're not doing your job, which isn't always the case because it really mm-hmm. depends on a store by store basis, and also yeah. it depends on the customer base. Because you may get a store that literally all, the only customer base you have are people who buy like digital currency. Or something mm-hmm. like that. Like it just it it irked me to no end that they cannot fathom in their tiny corporate brains that you know nuance exists in business. You mm-hmm. know, 
it just, it's just a stubbornness uh, to adapt to the new world and they're just refusing to uh to let go of what worked before because it doesn't work anymore now yeah exactly 